faucet in the kitchen and was asking for paper towels and stuff like that. I'm like, why? What's wrong? And he was like, man, I got blood all over the place. I'm like, what are you talking about? He was like, man, I, I got blood all over my fucking neck and shit. I'm like, oh shit. Like, what, what do you mean? Thank you so much for watching Team Delete TV, where we talk about everything. And when I say everything, I mean like one, two, done. <laughs> As y'all know, I am doing Story Miss, um, of course, if you haven't figured that out yet. And this is day four of Story Miss. And as you see by the title, we're going to talk about my abusive boyfriend, but we're going to get into how he was a two minute fucking man. Okay. And by the way, I just realized he more than likely be lurking on my stuff. <laughs> more than likely. So goes, yeah, motherfucker, I'm talking about you. If you have a problem with it, I don't really give a fuck because, like, I mean, I, I don't. But fuck you. If you watched my last story time, I talked about how Ghost and I met for the first time and how basically we, you know, did the, the do dirty, dirty, dirty. I mentioned how quick that session or i wouldn't even call it a fucking session girl i mentioned how quick that was like two minutes or less like for real i never dealt with anybody like that before i definitely was not used to like a sexual experience to be so fucking quick yeah it fucking was i'm just gonna briefly talk about it real quick um all of my stories not only about sex like it's probably gonna be the last sex story that I have about him or about anything. I just want y'all to know everything that I went through from detail to detail. Do you feel me? First time we had sex, it it was very, very quick. The second time we had sex, it was very, very quick. Third time we had sex, very, very quick. Five months down in our relationship, we were still having quick ass sex, okay? Y'all know women, let me talk to you real quick. You know, whenever you have some like good, good sex, sometimes your vagina feel like it's about to fucking fall off the fucking map, dumping, filling, or whatever the fuck, maybe, you know, down there. Well, girl, I ain't feel none of that. We were together for a whole 10 months. I didn't feel none of that. Like, what? Then the nigga had the nerve to not even want to fucking give it up as much like nigga. And then the nigga had the nerve to not even have a decent size. You get what I'm trying to say. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, nigga, you have the nerve to want to fucking be abusive months later. The fuck? I should have fucking known because he was he was small. Like, he didn't have no type of muscle. Like, he was just a regular size ass fucking nigga. Like, basically, he damn near looked like me with a little bit more meat on his bones and a little stomach here and there. Like, the first time we, like, did what we did, I said in my mind, like, damn, is it in? For all you niggas thinking that if a girl had a baby before or whatever the case may be, her walls is, like, you know, loose, that's not true. It goes right back to normal. So, I knew it wasn't me. I was really kind of fucking confused. I can literally count on one hand. One. Like, one of these. Y'all see how many fingers? Yeah, one of these, how many times he actually ate throughout our 10-month relationship. The nigga had the nerve to always want me being so fucking stupid, you know, I'm so dumb, I'm gonna be real, I did it. I kind of thought to myself, damn, I must be fucking good if I'm doing what I'm doing and he's able to finish what he have to finish. I'm sorry, this video is very explicit, um, I'm just keeping it 100. Like, I really thought I was doing good. Months down the line, I realized, no, girl, he's a two minute fucking man. A damn cat could lick his damn balls and he fucking explode. He had the nerve to be abusive. We gonna get into that. I keep saying that. Y'all know, I know y'all probably like, how the fuck he got abusive? It got real. Like, these stories, these beginning stories are kind of funny or comical maybe to y'all, but it's gonna get real towards the end. I'm just trying to make this whole happiness and all of this last as long as I can, okay? So whenever we weren't living together, because eventually he moved in, and that's gonna actually be my next story time. Um, but before he moved in, every single time we would see each other, we would obviously have sex. Because, like, we wasn't seeing each other all day, every day. So we would have sex every single time we saw each other. Quick sex, of course. Snap, snap. You done. And we probably saw each other maybe 
three to four times a week. Now, once he moved in, bitch, I was fucking starving. Like, not starving in my stomach, honey. Starving in my vagina bad enough that I wasn't even getting it the way that I wanted it. So, it's like, I craved it even more. But it's like, I'm not no cheating ass bitch, so I'm, I was just making it work. <laughs> I wasn't satisfied at all to say that I actually eventually fell in love. Girl, you dumb. You so dumb. I was so dumb. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me from my dumb assness. You would think how he fucking carried himself, how he fucking talked to me down the line, which we're gonna talk about later. You would think that this nigga was laying it down how he was supposed to lay it down. Absolutely not. He wasn't laying anything down. Yeah, he wasn't. And like I said, he had the nerve to always want me to but never wanted to. Whenever he moved in, all that shit fucking changed, girl. I was begging for more number one of this story. If you not satisfied and that nigga ain't willing to satisfy you in any possible way he can, and you know you are willing to satisfy him in any possible way, and it doesn't necessarily have to be sexually. If it's like that in your relationship, then that's a red flag and you gonna probably need to fucking shook out because it's either he fucking somebody else, it's either he's not really that into you because he's fucking somebody else, weak, small and quick. I ought to be ashamed of myself. I'm embarrassed for me. It's like whenever I actually got out of their relationship and you know met the man of my dreams, I was in pain. Like I was complaining. I was I felt like a bitch because yeah, I felt like a bitch because I wasn't used to it. And even still to this day it feels like my fucking vagina is gonna fall off the goddamn map after we finish doing what we doing. That's how it's supposed to be. If you don't feel like your shit about to fall off the damn map into the fucking universe or whatever the fuck, girl, you need to fucking pick another dick. That ain't gonna work. And moral number two, if you're a man and you know you can't stand for more than 30 minutes, let's push it to 20. Let's be realistic now. But if you know you like that, you need to know how to do something else, okay? And when I mean something else, I mean you need to be cooking for this bitch. You need to be licking her ass, her toes, in between her toes. That don't make no fucking sense. Okay, you need to know how to do something to kind of like meet in the middle. Yeah, I was stupid and I, I dealt with that for like 10 months of my life. Whenever I got out of a relationship, my whole world fucking changed. My fucking organs changed, like probably moved out of place a little bit because it wasn't fucking used to it. Tell me y'all stories. Have y'all ever had somebody that was like that? but stay with them and if y'all did did they meet y'all in the middle like did they own up to the fact that they wasn't you know what i'm saying they wasn't doing what the fuck they were supposed to do or did they just act like they was the fucking shit don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already i'm see y'all tomorrow for day five thank y'all for watching and i'm see y'all next time bye one of the very first few things he asked me was what's your wi-fi password my nigga, what the fuck? You are a guest number one. You've never been to my house. That's kind of fucking rude for you to ask me my Wi-Fi password and you just fucking met me. Like, how you fucking know I want you to have my fucking Wi-Fi password? Like, what the fuck? But I didn't.